on the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. This is a good one. Chef Adrian Wright is here. Now, she's going to be on Top Chef on Bravo TV. Actually, tonight, right? Tonight, this first is, episode this of the finals. This is exciting. Uh, today, we have uh, rye fettuccine, hazelnut romesco. That's what we're, we're making. And we want to talk about the show because you've had quite an adventure being part of the show, too. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been go wild ride. Yeah, a wild ride. That's great. And probably nothing you ever in your wildest dreams thought would happen. Certainly not. The experiences that, like, going to the Kentucky Derby, cooking for Chef Eric Repair, just right. like once-in-a-lifetime opportunities every week. That's you know. a, that's exciting. Equally as exciting that you're here. So let's go over the ingredients <laughs> that you need to uh, that you need to make this. So we're doing a house-made rye fettuccine, which is what we're currently serving at Duav okay. in Boston. And this is kind of my take on a winter carbonara. So we have uh, Brussels sprouts, um, hazelnuts, Parmesan cheese. That'll all be our garnish for our pasta. And right. then it's accented with a hazelnut romesco sauce. So perfect for your meatless Mondays. Right. Um, and, or with the chicken breast if you're not somebody who does it. Yep. Um, but your smoke from the the carbonara that would classically come from pancetta comes from our romesco sauce. That looks really good too. Right, so we've got piquillo peppers, uh, hazelnuts, uh, some pimenton. It's going to be like really nice, a little smoke, a little garlic. Right, the, uh, the peppers you're putting in, do they have a little kick to them or are they more of a sweet? Nope, these are sweet roasted okay. red peppers um, along with the tomato and then we'll add as much really raw garlic, like mm -hmm. bright fresh and then um, like a chili paste at the end so we can adjust heat. As, as, we as we go along. I can't wait to give this a try. It sounds delicious. Also, we will talk about her experience on Top Chef. And once again, it'll be on tonight. You can check her out there as well. Back to you. I'm going to continue my fake smoking <laughs> and send idea. things into Will in the kitchen. Good idea. Thanks. We are back in the uh, in the Roadshow kitchen. Chef Adrian Wright's here. Top Chef is going to be on Bravo TV tonight. We've got uh, rye fettuccine, hazelnut romesco. That's what we're making. And I was saying, you have a lot of fans out there. People really happy <laughs> to see you, and they and they love the show. So we're glad you're here today. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. So what um, do you want to do right now? So we're going to start off with our romesco sauce. Okay. So classically, romesco would be an almond thickened sauce, but we're doing hazelnut um, as our kind of take on it. So we've got our hazelnuts, our crushed tomato, mm -hmm. and piquillo peppers. Um, our piquillo peppers, you could also use just roasted red peppers. Um, and you want to use all the liquid that comes in that jar with them or roast your own. So Keep don't all strain the liquid. anything. Don't strain it. Nope. There's so much good flavor in that liquid and we're going to need it anyway. So we'll add a little bit more water. Yep. And then we're just going to turn this on and let it simmer okay. to tender, uh, tenderize our hazelnuts. It'll take, you know, not long, probably 15 minutes on the stove. Um, and then we'll add this to the blender to get our, like, rich, smoky, garlicky and, sauce. And the hazelnut will also thicken it up a lot, a lot too. Exactly. Exactly. So the hazelnuts act as our as our binder for this sauce. Um, so that's what it'll be like, nice, creamy, without adding a lot of like it butter. Smells or so good. <laughs> do you cook like this at home, or is this or when you're uh, home you're just kind of like ah? Oh, well, a lot of soups this time of year uh, at home. You know, yeah. a lot of like roast chicken sure. dinners. Sure. I always, well, I'm always curious if chefs actually cook like this at home, or they're like, oh, I'm going to grab something out of the cabinet and something make it quick. <laughs> All right. So we also have Brussels sprouts. Over Absolutely. Here. So over here we've got Brussels sprouts. Um, if you wouldn't mind slicing sure. them for us. Okay. So uh, this hazelnut fettuccine is a great way to kind of get more vegetables into your kids' mm -hmm. diet. So uh, we'll just slice them very thinly and then toss them in with our pasta. They'll be almost raw at the end to add a little crunch. Okay. And then our second version of Brussels sprouts, because I'm always adding more than one variation of a vegetable to a dish, is going to be our baby Brussels sprouts here. Oh, that's so good. That we will just I roast actually, in a little bit of olive oil. I never actually get the tiny ones like that. I'll get them, you know, larger like this and, and chop them up. Right. So these are nice because they cook so quickly mm -hmm. that really, as soon as you sear this cut side, which is really how I like my Brussels, nice and deeply caramelized. So we're going to sear this cut side, finish with a little bit of lemon juice, and they'll be cooked totally through. Okay. So it's a it's a nice little variation. Right. Yeah. You know? That's that's really nice. Okay. So we will uh, we'll put this together and then we'll talk about because as we said uh, she's going to be on Top Chef and that will be on tonight and she's had quite an adventure as well. We'll put this back together in just a little bit. Back to you. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen having some fun with Chef Adrian Wrights here from uh, she's actually going to be on uh, on Bravo TV mm -hmm. tonight on uh, Top Chef which so Great many show. people love that show. We have yeah. uh, rye fettuccine, hazelnut romesco. 
Mm -hmm. That's what we're making. Yes, we do. And the finished product looks beautiful. <laughs> yes. Looks so, so nice. I'll show you in just a moment. So we're yes. going to get our pasta in our water first. Okay. Um, so this is a 50% rye flour pasta. So rye flour and then double O pasta which, uh, flour, which would be the classic flour that you would use to make pasta. Mm -hmm. And um, we make all our pastas in-house at all of our restaurants in Boston. Yeah, you're um, in charge of a few of them. Yes, yes. Executive chef for Boston Urban Hospitality. So I um, manage Duave Restaurant in the Back Bay. Mm -hmm. Two Boston Chops locations, downtown and South End, and then D Bar in Dorchester. Wow. wow. Yes, yeah, so we have a lot going on. We're so, every day is very busy. You have a lot going on. You have a lot going on. And then she's also <laughs> on top of it. I'm just going to stay here. Six months pregnant. Oh, we're my God. Oh, congratulations. You look great. She's hiding it so well. <laughs> wow. It's a, it's a big time. Congratulations. Uh -huh. so thank you. You've got enough you. going on for a restaurant, <laughs> a TV show, a child. Somebody's an overachiever. <laughs> So we're gonna start off our pasta with our compound butter. Okay. So Ooh. we make these at Juave um, to really in, like bump up the flavor in our dishes. And there's mm. something very easy that you can make at home, keep in your freezer, and then anytime you're making like an Italian style meal, take out your compound butter and add it in, and it'll be like a quick way to add some kind of depth to yeah. your pasta. So this has uh, garlic, a little bit of anchovy, lemon zest, chili flake. Um, wow. And that's going to really be like all those base flavors that you love when mm -hmm. you go out to eat. Right. Yeah. Um, I also do the same compound butter like trick with uh, herbs from my garden in the summer. Um, it's just a really nice way to preserve flavor and then yeah. add it very quickly back to your meals. Wow. And Later I smell on. that garlic now too once it, it hits the heat. Great. Absolutely, absolutely. So we've got our romesco that we made earlier. Yes. And as you can see, like it gets very thick from the hazelnuts, nice and creamy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, but it's nice, you can feel good about it because it's a nut, yeah. like fat, instead cool. of, you know, necessarily any more butter than we're already exactly. going to put in the stitch. Yeah. <laughs> a pan full of butter. <laughs> Even it out, balance it out. Sorry. Right. Exactly. And we're roasting our baby Brussels sprouts here that we had in the pan. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I, I like my Brussels sprouts pretty darkly caramelized. Me so too. we'll go a little bit longer on here. Brings out a lot of okay. flavor to them. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So this is kind of my take on a winter style carbonara. Mm -hmm. um, at Duav, we're currently serving this with, you know, a raw egg yolk, which you could always mm -hmm. stir into your pan if you don't want a raw egg yolk on your yeah. plate, but um, a raw egg yolk and a chicken breast. So wow. it's really like a hearty meal. Yeah, that's a um, lot of ingredients going nice. together. Yes, absolutely. But you can enjoy just this recipe that you're sharing with us alone, and that'll, that'll really fill you up. Perfect for, like I said, a meatless Monday sure. mm -hmm. um, meal because it really is like so hearty. You've got to get your Brussels sprouts in when you can. The season's coming to an end. Yep. So really just like bring in do all up. those. I do love Brussels sprouts. Right? I'm always sad to see them go, but it's nice because you get to change them out for asparagus. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. true. Yeah, right? nice, nice swap there. That so we're just gonna. delicious. Yes. It, this is a, a flour that we use that's milled in Maine. It's an all organic flour. Um, which really just brings a lot of flavor and like texture, a nice toothsome nature to your pasta. Mm, looks good. Um, All right, while that's going, let's talk about the, the show. You, you being on Top Chef. Yes. What was that experience like? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, just, just so many experiences that I will only get to have once in my career, mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful for it. I mean, to meet, even just meet Tom Colicchio. Oh, Padma, I was going to say, Tom Colicchio you know? alone is, would be so fun to, to meet. Right? Yeah. I'm going to up your uh, chef street cred, too, being on a show like that, right? Just a little? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. right? I mean, you don't make it through... Uh, you know, I, I think I've been through 10 elimination challenges at this point. Oh my Mostly gosh. Mostly cooking southern food, which is not my specialty. Right. Um, well, it's, it's, I think it's a great test for you, too, as a chef, to tap into maybe some skills that you didn't even need in, in, um, since culinary school yeah. or something. Really amazing to just be given challenge after challenge and just say, what's the best thing that you can come up with, you mm -hmm. know? not. Not what can your cooks put out or what can you serve necessarily like night after night, but right. you know, what's the best dish that you can come up with right. for this challenge? A good and personal that was, challenge, yeah. yeah. Really, really fun. Yeah. There's some fresh lemon juice going in our pasta. Always. There. I'm a big fan yeah. of citrus and herbs. Mm -hmm. So I'm always adding stuff to it. Those things. So we've got right our our shaved Brussels sprouts, which you helped me out with. Thank you. And those went in here pretty much um, last minute. You want them like a little bit crunchy. You know, this is like adding to the texture of right. your pasta, which I think is so important, especially when you're building a meal that like might be meatless. Okay. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, um, here we go. We're gonna plate a little of our romesco sauce in our bowl here. Mm -hmm. 
And you know from especially being on Top Chef too, the presentation then is almost the second exactly. challenge of everything. Absolutely, absolutely. It always makes a difference. Um, we'll get our pasta, pasta piled. I love these sh big chef tweezers. Me too. I, I think I, they have a better name, but I'm calling them giant chef tweezers because that's what they look it. like. Absolutely. And I love them. <laughs> the, I, I actually can't cook without them. I have a pair at home. I have a pair, God, you know, just everywhere. It makes you everywhere. look so fancy, too. All right, mm -hmm. we're going to put the finishing touches on that. I know you've plated up another one with that chicken, like you said, you pair with um, at the restaurant wow, with. Okay. But thank you so much for coming in, for coming and we look forward to watching you tonight. Here. If you want this recipe so you can make it for your friends and family, you can go to roadshow.com.